We'll start first with a question from Shannon and then go to Michael. Hey, Carly, Shannon Russell from the Courier Journal. Uh, I was curious to, to know for you, uh, coming back from COVID protocols, you, you sat out at uh, Wisconsin and then you played against Pitt. What has that progression been like for you and how did you feel uh, physically in the Pitt game? Um, it's new. Um, being, you know, sitting out um, due to COVID and, you know, uh, returning and and just trying to uh, basically try to work back to, to where I was. It was a, a, a little rough start. Um, just condition wise, um, you know, not really able to get out and run or, you know, work out and stuff like that. Um, kind of, you know, set me back on the, in the conditioning why and the conditioning area. Um, but uh, it's a process. Um, you know, I'm trying to, you know, get in more and more shape each day. Um, and it's, it's been a pretty good process. Um, in the pit game, um, I felt good. I felt, I felt like myself, but, um, also, you know, a tad bit winded, you know, just cause, you know, being my first, you know, first game back. Um, but other than that, I, I felt pretty good. Michael. Carly, Michael McCammon from Cardinal Authority. A uh, quick follow-up to that is, you know, how do you feel now after, you know, returning from that game and, and going through practice? And, and then talk a little bit about the, the Kentucky rivalry. I mean, obviously, you know, you're, you're new to the team, but what are, how familiar are you with it and what does it mean to, to you as being part of it now? Um, like I said earlier, I'm just glad to get, you know, to be able to play against Pitt and um, get that game, you know, out of the way, honestly. Uh you know, with it being my first game back. Um, and then as far as the rivalry, um, to be honest, I didn't know. I knew it was a thing. I knew it was a big thing. Um, but I, I didn't know much about it before getting here. And then once I got here, um, you know, having conversations with my teammates and, and you know, seeing, you know, on social media how crazy, you know, the fans are for both both programs um, is – is uh, definitely huge and definitely something I am glad to be a part of and I'm uh, looking forward to. to Tyler. Hey, Carly, what stands out to you about Kentucky's backcourt when you start to, to study them a little bit, their guards? Um, I just uh, realized that they're, they're, they're a talented, talented group of guys. Um, I, I haven't really, you know, got to see much, um, but as you know, more as today and, you know, the rest of the week go on, I will be learning more about them, watching film on them. Um, but I, I definitely respect those guys, and uh, they're, they're definitely talented over there. To Shannon. Carly, you've been with these guys for months, your teammates. What do you think gives you guys the best chance to come away with a win against Kentucky based on what you guys are capable of and what you've shown so far? Uh. Just how motivated we are, um, just how motivated we are to 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 play once again together, um, and just knowing how how hard we play for one another and how how hard we got each other's back, I think we'll uh, say enough. If I can add a follow up, um, what areas specifically, whether it's um, rebounding, free throws, um, transition, do you think you guys need to to be on your best for? against a team like Kentucky? Um, I think it will. It, it, it always starts on the defensive end, um, you know, keeping the ball out of the paint, um, forcing tough shots, uh, and definitely boxing out and, and, and owning the glass will be uh, definitely where we will start to to uh, try to get us to, or put us in a position to win. Other questions for Carly? To Michael. Hey, Carly, uh, when you have games like this, obviously you guys play, you know, one game at a time, but when you get into rivalry games, I'm sure you've had some in your past, uh, whether it be high school or your previous stop. Uh, does it feel a little bit different when it when, when it's a rivalry game? And and if so, how do you make sure you're, you're reining in the emotions and just approach it like a regular game? Um, yeah, def it definitely is a, a different feeling um, because sometimes it's, it's, it's more behind it. Um, as far as this rivalry, I, I know that, you know, 
both both teams really want to win. Um, both teams really kind of want bragging rights, um, and and it's it's hard, but it's it's also um, doable as far as with the feelings. Um, just going it in, you have to you have to treat it like a regular game. You have to treat it like you know a normal basketball game, um, and going in, uh, can't let your emotions really get to you because um, it could it could cost you, it could hurt you, or or it can I mean sometimes help, but uh, it's not, I don't think that's a chance you would want to take. Um, usually, I just think you should go in with the same mentality with every game and and uh, do what your team does best. Go to Shannon and then Andrew. Uh, Josh Nickelberry made his season debut at Pitt. What does having him back mean for you guys in terms of just having a little bit more depth there at the guard position, and, and what does he bring uh, to your team? Um, it's great having Josh back. Um, during the preseason and, you know, the start of the season, the whole team's kind of just, you know, waiting, um, praying, and, you know, sticking with him, you know, through through the tough time. and. And and just you know, being patient for him to return, um, and, and now he's finally back, and it's 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 a great feeling to have him have him on the floor. I mean, he's always in practice and and with the team, and you know, encouraging us and talking to us. But to actually have him on the floor now, back with us, is uh, definitely a good thing, great thing. And uh, what he brings to the team, I believe, is just he plays hard. He uh, he on both ends. Um, he can shoot the ball very well. And and like I said, he 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 talks and he's a great teammate. Um, and I mean, that's 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 all we can ask for. Got uh, two more questions from Andrew and then Tyler. Carlique, it's no secret that Kentucky has dominated this rivalry the last ten years or so. How much of a discussion is that within your team, and how much motivation is that for this team to hopefully start for you guys a U of L streak against UK? Um, we know about it, um, you know, with the Kentucky one in the last few, um, but uh, we don't, I don't, I wouldn't say we talk about it a lot. Um, I know we want to win. I know we're going to, you know, prepare for it. We're going to, you know, be ready for it. Um, but I don't think we really, you know, talk about it much as far as that. But uh, we just want to uh, win. I know we, we're, 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 we'll be ready. Close it out with Tyler. Carly, when you've discussed David some in the past, you, you've said that you kind of see some of yourself in him a little bit. I was wondering, what, how would you describe his development this early in the season? Like, what, what's jumped out to you about what he's improved on or is still working on as a player? Um, uh, the things that jumped out with me was just uh, how, for one, just uh, how willing he is to, to learn how willing he is to, you know, work and, and get better at, the, you know, the things he do and things he, he lack in. Um, he, he's just an all-around good player. Um, I think he's improved in his shooting um, and just, you know, being the best version of him. Uh, I think he's really starting to, to find himself and, 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 and find his value and, and – uh, what he's really capable of, and, and it's a good sign. Carly, thank you. We'll be back with.